Hi, and welcome to uh, Swaggart Titterton and Friends reviewing Dirklink DKMP RCC uh, Heartline Twister Coaster. Uh, so we will start things off by opening the first entry by 73 and Banan Fanat, and I will go read the story. Not many people know that the Heartline Twister Coaster was originally built by Count Ziploc as a torture device. It has been operating for thousands of years. After Count Ziploc was slain in battle by Bongo the Gorilla, the castle was bought by the roller coaster tycoon, who turned it into a theme park. Okay. Wait. Am I missing something? Oh, there's a tip. Is this inside? I see it now. Okay, so it's inside. You're also not streaming. I'm not streaming? Oh, got no. it. Sorry, folks. Is it streaming now? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so the ride is apparently inside the walls. Yeah, there it is. It's coming through the walls. Where does it start? Where does it finish? Is there multiples? I'm confused. The palette's crazy. No, it's like um, zero clearance hacked. I... So it'll pop up, twist, and change directions, and then it'll continue along the wall. Oh, if I do scenery clear. Oh, yeah, there's still stuff between it. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. That's creative. Oh, it's like a full cycle too with like a launch. Okay. This is not what I expected, but uh, hey. Oh, what's up in the sky? Is this another spaceship? I think there's a common theme with these 73 Bananfanauts. So we've got a spaceship or something. Who's up here? 73. Hey, everyone. I See you later. I believe that's a sound thing, right? <clears throat> okay, well, let's go ahead. And move on to the next one. The next up, we have Angsty Potato. Built along the coast of a beach, Heartstorm is a Heartline Twister coaster that resembles the classic style of Ultra Twister. Within the park, guests can also enjoy the view from the pier, take a ride on jet skis, enjoy some good food, and experience other awesome thrills. Angsty Potato. Okay. Now that is like the OG with like the 45 degree angle. Is that? That's vertical. It's going vertical, huh? Yeah. Interesting. We got some jet skis. The water looks nice. I like it. Traditional layout. Let's take a look at the station. Nice station, kind of lined up along the coaster. I like that little food joint. Got some little buildings. Got a rope. What ballot was used here? Um, let's see. Mediterranean Palace. Hmm. Okay, I don't remember that one. We got a nice little go kart track. We got a shoe strung ride. Is this Angsty Potatoes? This isn't their first. This this doesn't come off as a first entry. Angsty Potato uh, has already joined uh, in a few multiplayer rounds, I believe. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks good overall. I like it. it. Would this be their first RCC? I'm not entirely sure. Well, they did a good job. Congratulations. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Next up, we have BE Player. Uh, it says, I tried to make a little typical Japanese park. The park has the park has two coasters, both made by Togo. Oh, two coasters. Just a typo. Togo coasters. Let's go find out what we got. Coaster to go. Nice. 
Very well done. Yeah, this one's very well supported. Yeah, this looks like the uh, the one by Skiffa back in the day. That one was legendary. Mm -hmm. Is that the one on the rice field? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's the one I was thinking of. That's the one I kind of copied when I built the uh, RMC coaster. Looks good. I like the station. I like this restroom building. We got a Togo stand up over here. That looks good. Let's let's see the splash boats. Nice. By the way, I just looked it up, and the one from Angsty Potato is a second RCC. Nice. Okay. I like the buildings. You got. I think this is like. I I can't remember a BE player park that is better than this. I think this might be their best park. Feels very Japanese too. I feel like these buildings come across as like the standard Japanese buildings <laughs> food just food nice yeah overall good job very good very good I'm impressed okay up next we have Kazrag Good Night Park was open for mere days before it was attacked by a green dragon, catching guests and guests and staff alike at unawares. Okay. The park's original coaster now sinks into the sea, and much of the castle and grounds lie in smoldering ruins. However, some brave guests joined the ranks of St. George and fight back by riding Dragon Attack, a heartline twister that takes them down the length of the Great Worm, Actual coaster track has red track linings and over and through several ruined buildings. The station and lift hill are both inside the tower. The track runs uh, on the belly of the dragon. Guests can also climb the top of the tower for Wyvern's Revenge, where the mount a blue and white, uh, where they mount a blue and white dragon to fight in the skies. Or they can head past the crumbling cathedral down to the still standing dockyard and desperately flee in rowboats, dodging a ruined coaster and diving bomb. Diving, dive bombing dragons in the process. Okay, quite a story. Let's see if it pays off. Oh my gosh! What an takes opening. me back to uh, 2019. Yeah, dude. Sheesh! Oh wow, it's a long one. Those boats are hilarious. They're like, ah, oh, get out of here! What? Oh my gosh, this guy's like stuck on the. Look at those little dragons. They're like baby dragons. Okay, how does this turn around? Oh, it dives into the castle. That's cool. Looks like we got ourselves a new Mamarias. Yeah, baby. Very creative. I like how the dragon or the wyvern is the ride. He's a very skinny boy for for such a big face. But maybe that's the kind of style, the aesthetic. I think it's a wyvern because it only has two feet instead of four. Yeah, the front. Okay, okay. If my mythology serves me well, but I don't know. I can't read this. Open, not dead yet. That's This is pretty unique. Very, uh, very crazy and fun. It's hard to rate the coaster because I can't. It kind of moves around different than what a normal coaster would, but I guess that's the point, being a little more creative. And then the station's in the tower. <gasps> well, look at all these people up here. Oh, I love it. And there's a baby dragon. Oh, people are riding a dragon? Oh, that's great. That's part of the story. I forgot. They just hop on. This is definitely a step up from any of his previous entries. Really well done. Yeah, good job. Okay. Next up, we have Lurker. I've heard of this guy before. <laughs> In the high mountain peaks, fueled by condensation from the clouds, the aerial amusement ship Cloud Scraper brings thrills and adventure to a remote mountain village. Nice brief story. I love it. What, what, what? Okay, where's the station? I'm guessing it's in here. Nice little run. You got a twist. It's 
got some cool breaks. It goes through there. Nice. That is crazy, all of the clouds. It's like a steamboat airship. That's pretty cool. Cloud scraper. Just got some rides over here. Nice. I, don't yeah, know. I like how we uh, did the clouds. Yeah, a lot of different plants. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty fun ride. I mean, it feels like Lurker, that's for sure. That's for sure, Kerr. <laughs> Good job, Lurker. Okay, moving on. We have Max Arceus. Okay, this, this is like a bunch of quotes, like people talking to each other. Sir Optimant, how's it going with the research? Good news, Mr. Manager. The projections indicate the dashing new steam train with covered cars for the miniature railway will be ready in just a few months. Devell... This simply will not do. I already have two types of trains for the miniature railway. I don't need another. But Mr. Uh, Manager... Development. What? Oh, development. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Manager, do you not like our inventions? Not even the Heartline Coaster from last month? Darn it, Devel. I need a lift. A lift, I'm telling you. But sir, the lift isn't scheduled to be researched for at least another year. We have a whole list of inventions we'd rather have to go through first. Fine, then I'll just have to cheat, I suppose. Mr. Manager, you cannot resort to cheating. It will, it would be too lowly for you. May I offer a suggestion? I'm listening. What if we... Murmur, murmur, whisper, whisper. Okay, intriguing story. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> They're using... Okay, I get it. They're using this as a lift instead of the actual lift. So we got a sun. We got a plane flying around. That's really clever. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. We got a little dive coaster. Carousel. Now, this is hard. Like, as I rate the coaster, it's not really a coaster. I think this coaster looks great, by the way. It's a decoy, I guess. Yeah. I do like the path, too. That's I like the colors on the pathway. That's kind of nice. I see what you mean, though. It's kind of hard to give this coaster a high score, but it is really funny. Yeah. The lift has a good score, of course, but I don't know about yeah. the coaster. But yeah, these also really fits well into the story. Yeah, good story. I mean, without that's the... when you rate theming, right? Yeah, theming and coaster. Yeah, the the for sure the story and the uh, park element gets a higher score. Um, yeah. Yeah. Without the story, I would have been like, uh, mm -hmm. okay. But with the story, I feel like it explains it more. Okay. Next up we yeah, have this will be a tough one to rate. Sex Butler. What do all your cool friends always say about the Heartline Twister Coaster? Oh, it's lame. Oh, it has no fun track pieces. Uh, it's just a straight line with extra steps. Well, ooh, no longer. More track pieces, more fire, more pain. Exploding the exploiting those curved track sprites the Heartline cars have for some unspeakable reason. Introducing Power Word Scrunch. The all new unworsening of the worst roller coaster. Experience thrills, blood spills, and bankruptcy inducing medical bills. Butler Works Inc. Bigger building a bigger world, a better world, a stupider world. Great little story. I like it. Oh my gosh. This dude's obsessed with building coasters that are terrifying. Beep, beep, boop, beep. I'm watching like three different. It does. It does a great job with the foliage on the water. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I am surprised that this thing has curves. Yeah. They look good, too. 
Yeah, this track always mixes really well with bobsled track. Now, what's going on with the station? Why is it... Whoa, that lagged. So, I have to see through this really quick. Okay, so it just goes down. So, he could have (laughs) maybe gone straight under the helix, but he was like, nah, I'm going to go over it and then do backs. (laughs) Switch backs. (laughs) <laughs> is this thing launched? I didn't even pay. Yep, it's a launch. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, he's right about breaking the back. What's over here? Are these emus? Emus. <laughs> okay, what else do we got? We got a. a uh, yeah, we got one of those launching things. That's cool. These tents, those are weird. Wow, they look like Age of Empires tents. Oh, yeah. And then we got another flat right over here. Sex Butler, my biggest tip, I think I've said this many times, you got to change the colors of the rides so that they're unique. Because I want to see this ride not as an addition to this ride. I want it to be its own thing. Like, I mean, it's you could even do it simply as, like, green or put some yellow on it. Boom, look, it's totally a different ride. Yeah, very creative. That's how you make a coaster that breaks people's backs. Not every, <laughs> not everybody can do that. Okay, up next we have Secretly Just Soul X. Indiana pushed away the foliage. There it is, he whispered. The Temple of Ligma. What's Ligma? <laughs> Marion asked. Indy didn't answer. He just smiled. Oh what is Ligma? I don't know, man. I just don't know. Okay, so we got a dueling. That's a pretty good temple. Oh, no way. They merge. Okay, they don't. I thought they merged. That would have been sick. Pretty nice foliage. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's cool. The little transition upwards with the turns. I really do like the creative use of track. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Indiana Jones themed RCC with a log flube complementing the main ride. I wonder where I've seen this before. <laughs> Dude. He it was should... the steeplechase contest, right? It sure was. He should have, uh, r- remember my first inverted coaster contest? It was like Pennsylvania Jones or something instead of Indiana Jones. That should be, this should be Pennsylvania, maybe Pennsylvania Junes. This that was looks a long good. time ago, wasn't it? It was so long ago, many years. Illinois James. Illinois James, Pennsylvania Junes. <laughs> I like it. I mean, there's, it's a solid log flume. It's a solid splash boats. Maybe too many splash boats. I would have maybe uh, separated them a bit. They're all so full. Yeah. Those are some great ops. Yeah, these guys are these guys are messing around. I like the little peek there is. This is very good, Soul X. I mean secretly Soul X. Sorry for telling people. Doom. The Temple of Ligma. Good job. Good job. I think this one might be my favorite so far. It's pretty pretty good. Next, we have Tall JK26, the Ultra Twister located at Nagashimi Spa Land in Japan. This recreation of the ride takes you up 90 degrees and down two drops and several twists. Hopefully, you are facing forward and can keep your food in check while riding through at speeds of 40 plus miles an hour. Interesting. Excellent. It's a pretty faithful remake. I feel like there maybe was something up top. Maybe I'm missing. Those recolored stairs do a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, the stairs are nice. I've seen that in a couple other entries, too. Got a building over here. I mean, the 
the building looks a little rough, but I think the shaping's actually pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice. Nice little bridge. Swings ride. A double, a two-tier swing ride. Those are chair lifts. Got it. Are they? They swing. They I don't think they swing. Maybe. Oh. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe they're on helixes and it just kind of looks a little janky. <laughs> it does look a little bit janky. Got some other buildings over here. Who's this tall JK? I don't know if I've seen tall JK do something before. He joined uh, one of the last contests uh, as well. Okay. Up next, we have Wes Rainbow. Uh, the story is R.I.P. Togo. Told Jake I joined the last uh, mini contest. Okay. Okay, Wes. Whoa. <laughs> I was wondering what was going to happen over there. This is one tiny little thing. And what is going on over here? what she said <laughs> oh okay get out of my head get out of my head what about the TV I don't know maybe it's a picture ah, I didn't think of that okay I mean there's not much else to look at pretty small pretty uh, condensed I don't know about this. I guess it's a picture. It has a photo booth. Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. Photo oh, booth. you're right. That's nice. I should have noticed that since the whole entry is like 10 tiles. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was maybe a little bit of foliage next to the rest of the coaster. Oh, I got you. Yeah, at the or, end. Or some rocks Perfect. or anything. Wow. Already better. Okay, yeah. don't Not judge sure. that. Don't judge that. Hold on. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're good. Okay, let's let's put a final vote on here. Okay, well that wraps things up. Uh, so this was Dirk Link. What what RCC was this? Um, I'm not the right person to ask. Uh, uh, 63, 63. 63. Okay. <laughs> I am the right person to ask. That is RCC 63, the Heartline Twister Contest Review. Only 10 entries, but I'm assuming most people are coming back next month strong as that head-to-head -head contest ends on a new element. So I'm excited to see what happens next month. Good job, everybody, for submitting these coasters. This is one of the hardest coasters to build. And uh, if you guys like that video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.